evening, fellow collectors, fellow subscribers. Mike the Hunter here on a beautiful quarantine day, stuck inside without the option to go toy hunting out in stores. Although it's something that, uh, you know, seems like I would usually do since I'm obsessed with Marvel Legends. I figured why take the chance to go out and get sick when I could just stay at home, do some online shopping, and catch up with some older Marvel Legends that have gone down in price a little bit when they become loose. Today's pickup is an eBay pickup. Came in the mail today, we got Boom Boom. Boom Boom. I won her on an auction for like $9. Can't beat that. Um, I did have to uh, sacrifice the bath piece for uh, Wendigo, but that's okay, man. I just, I really wanted- been messing around, dinner's ready. Boom Boom, right out of the bubble wrap. No box to open, which kind of sucks because that's the best part about my videos is getting that fresh figure sniff. However, I am not going to smell her since she came from someone else's home. I don't know what it's going to smell like. Better not smell like cigarettes. Yeah, that's, that smells like someone else's house. That's gross. But it's a used figure, a figure that I did not feel like paying 20 to $25 for right off the shelves of, you know, any retail store. I just wanted to quickly add her to my X-Men shelf because as you know, I'm really focusing on building my X-Men shelf right now, adding a lot new characters that I never had before and a lot of characters that I'm actually learning about. This is one of them. Boom Boom manipulates energy to create explosive time bombs that she can detonate at any moment. I really dig that she got sent with the bubble gum hair. Head, head, whatever. Now I won this on the auction, but I didn't know that they were uh, gonna send her without her switchable head. So this is, it came as is, man. It didn't come with the, there's another head that comes without the bubble, but I am really happy that I got the one with the bubble because I was gonna go ahead and put that one on display. Anyways, that's something that we just haven't seen with Marvel Legends yet, look at that. Chewing her gum. I can hear her popping the bubbles right now as I look at her. Really like that nice dark brown on top of the blonde. I really dig the 80s retro type of glasses. I like how they added her earrings in there. Very beautiful. She's got that 80s look. I like the outfit. Bright, bright, hot pink. Hey, look at that booty. Love the belt. Got the uh, X logo backwards here. There it is right there. Got the power effect, which they only sent one power effect. Come on, man. It's okay, I'll go ahead and pose her just, you know, swinging that arm out and keep the this one uh, back. I did read a couple of reviews about her. A lot of people think she's a very bland uh, Marvel legend to have. But you know, it's it's like figures like these, you just gotta see the potential in them, you know? Get them in the right kind of pose, you actually see them in person, they're actually a lot cooler, you know? You, you see them online, of course, you see pictures of them, you're like, nah, I ain't gonna waste the time to get her. But that's the beauty of Marvel Legends, man. When you judge a book by its cover, when you actually get the figure in hand, you start getting different perspectives. I'm actually excited to add Boom Boom to my shelf, and she's gonna be in a very good spot, which uh, let's go ahead and add her to the shelf. So there you guys have Boom Boom on the X-Men shelf. She's just making that X-Men shelf pop with more color, a bright, bright freaking pink, just lighting up that shelf. Not so much red, not so much green, not so much blue and yellow, but bright, hot pink. I'm really glad I picked up this figure. I highly recommend that you add her to your X-Men shelf if you haven't already. Sometimes the peg warmers can do your shelf some serious justice. What do I rate this figure? What do I rate this peg warmer? A good 10 out of 10 for a peg warmer. So there you guys have it for that wonderful mail unpackaging of Marvel's Boom Boom. I may be doing some more eBay pickups. I gotta do the best I can to catch up on a lot of waves that I missed out on um, while being away from YouTube. But with the wonderful, but with the, I can't do this video with you here. First of all, I'm hearing you smack on your food the whole entire time when I'm trying to talk to them. I can't do this. Okay. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm Go, go, go so you can finish it.
Okay, now I'm on the spotlight. You can't literally yeah, on the I'm spotlight. Not even looking. Okay. But with my good old friend eBay, I will be caught up in no time, and that shelf will be filled. There's a lot of X-Men that Hasbro's coming out with, man, a lot. And I hope you guys can keep up with them uh, just as much as I'm trying to keep up with them. It's a real tight budget, especially with this coronavirus thing taking a lot of people's work. So hopefully, you know, find some Marvel Legends loose that, you know, uh, you didn't really want to buy with the bath pieces. Find them loose, you know, give them a bid. Six bucks here and there. I got Boom Boom for nine dollars. I didn't think I was gonna do that. Nine dollars and free shipping. You can't beat that. With that being said, guys, thank you for enjoying this unboxing, well, unpackaging of an envelope with me. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And do not, guys, please, do not forget to hit that notification bell. I upload videos at weird random times, sometimes at night, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the middle of the day. So hit that notification bell. It helps the channel a lot. Enjoy your figs, enjoy your families, and as always, good hunting. Peace. Peace.